what is up guys and welcome back to the channel if you are new here do like and subscribe before we get into today's video i came across a comment from a guy i'm guessing a fellow developer by the name of stygian homes he was reacting to the e-commerce site that we converted into a progressive web app and he says make it into a real app progressive web spam he refers it he refers to it as spam does not help actual users it's just an easy way out for lazy and quote developers so he's actually implying that these aren't people who use progressive web apps aren't actual developers so what's my take on this um before we before we continue discussing this if you are just interested in how to turn this into an apk and start shipping to your stores just skip towards the the, the end of the video where we'll be just writing out uh, the procedure on how to actually convert your progressive web app into an application okay let's face facts progressive web app technology has come a long way you can actually do some push notifications using a progressive web app you can interact with the user's local files you can literally create a music player that goes accesses users files plays them makes a favorite list you can create your own playlist it can shuffle it can repeat it can literally do everything that a same app made with maybe flutter or java would do so, so actually my take is it also has like several apis by the way that are really being built day in day out bluetooth api so many so many apis now work with progressive web apps although the technology isn't there yet but really homes you gotta give some credit to progressive web apps because what you can do with your technology some other developer can do the same using a progressive web app okay bottom line is this is going to be my final take on this every technology has its own function and has a particular situation where it is perfect to use that particular technology there's an app you definitely cannot do as a pwa you will definitely use something java or kotlin or flutter or if, if it's a complex app like if you are told to maybe design a dating app that's going to be using something like location it's going to have to have an algorithm to match users via certain interests definitely you are not going to use a progressive web app so everything has its own has its own niche i think progressive web apps have a niche that they they feel while the native apps that we are used to the ones written in java kotlin flutter react native etc also have their own place so definitely just every technology for its suitable project i guess that's my take on this and yeah that's my take on this let's just get straight to today's project of turning a progressive web app into okay let's get to it what you're going to have what you're going to need is to navigate to pwabuilder.com that is the website that was founded by microsoft to enable you to ship your progressive web app to whichever store you'd like you can just ship it to the android google play store you can do that to ios or you can also do that to the microsoft play store as well so you're going to need a site that's already a progressive web app and i have one i have one that was the the e-commerce website that we built earlier if you missed that tutorial it's just going to be down in the description so you can head back there and follow along build this up from scratch so this is um the url for my complete web app so what you're going to do is just navigate to the website that you have already configured to be a progressive web app and then just copy the full url and um, just paste it in 
just paste it in hopefully you have you, you are, your site checks all the points for being a progressive web app that is performance wise it should have a manifesto json and a registered service worker so just copy the url to your site as such and then just paste it in once you have pasted in um the back end of this website now takes over to bundle up your code this is exactly what um if you have used android studio android studio usually also builds it usually builds an apk for you once you have done once you're done developing so this should take a few seconds and that's it you see mm, we've passed the manifest service worker and security so we have a great progressive web app so all you have to do is hit next and as you can see you can you have the choice to publish to the microsoft store um to the android play store and and the ios app store so you can configure the app options like activities splash screen all that literally all that because you're trying to deliver a native experience that's exactly where the guy in the comments this is what he was talking about you can configure everything here so to make sure that the the experience that the end user will have will be the native android app experience not that i definitely know that this is a progressive web app make sure i don't know that this is a pwa make the experience so smooth that i can hardly tell the two apart so just once you're done hit on generate it was going to take um, about two oh okay this definitely this is an internal error so just return to manifest you probably won't get this error i'm just going to do this again um so let me just we need to go through these settings now let me just hit generate uh, it should take one to two minutes to finish this the guys at pwa builder are doing a great job by the way because bundling this app android studio would have taken quite some time your pc would have been overheating by now and then just hit download and that's it 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 will be in, it will be stored in a zip in a zip file so i've just re I've redirected this to be stored in my desktop so that we can just extract it and view it as well so if i'm to extract this we should find the apk that's all we're interested in and that's it so i'm just going to delete all the files in here delete except the apk and that's it you already have an apk file you can share this directly to your friends for them to install and you can already yeah, you can have this in other stores as well just um, upload them and users can be able to download your application